Fine Production uses several terms that may not be familiar. In this section, we will look at a few key indicators commonly used and discuss their meanings and why they are important. The first key indicator we will discuss is the concept of feed conversion ratio. Simply put, it is the pounds of feed a pig needs to eat to gain one pound of weight. A lower number is better, but very low numbers should be reviewed. The example shows a pig that ate 665 pounds of feed and gained 265 pounds. His feed conversion is calculated by dividing the 665 pounds of feed by the 265 pounds of gain, which gives a feed conversion ratio of 2.51, meaning he ate 2.51 pounds of feed for every pound of weight gained. Feed conversion changes through the pig's growth cycle. In the nursery, a general range is between 1.31 and 1.66 pounds of feed per pound of gain. In finishing, the general range is between 2.33 and 2.8 pounds of feed per pound of gain, or nearly twice as high as the nursery phase. In a wean to finish setting, a range of 2.13 to 2.56 pounds of feed per pound of gain is typical. As the pig gets close to market weight, feed conversion gets worse or higher. In the example, to gain the final 17 pounds from 260 to 277 pounds, the pig ate 52 pounds of feed. When we divide 52 by 17, we get a feed conversion ratio of 3.06 pounds of feed for each pound of gain. Average daily gain refers to the pig's growth rate and is our second key indicator. It represents the pounds gained for each day on feed, or in other words, for each day the pig is in the barn eating feed. A higher number is better. In our example, the pig gains 265 pounds in 150 days on feed. To calculate his average daily gain, we divide the 265 pounds gained by the 150 days on feed, which gives us an average daily gain of 1.77 pounds. Similar to feed conversion, average daily gain changes throughout the pig's growth cycle. In the nursery, a general range is between 0.84 and 1.07 pounds of gain per day. In finishing, the general range is between 1.84 and 2.1 pounds of gain per day or nearly a pound per day more than in the nursery. In a wind finish setting, a range of 1.55 to 1.77 pounds of gain per day is typical from weaning to market. As pigs get closer to market weight, the average daily gain increases. In the example, just before market, the pig gained 17 pounds during the final eight days on feed. When we divide the 17 pounds gained, by the eight days on feed, we get an average daily gain of 2.13 pounds. Which pig has a better average daily gain? Bacon bits with 1.96 pounds per day or loin chop with 1.88 pounds per day? Remember that with average daily gain, a higher number is better. So the answer is A, bacon bits with 1.96 pounds per day. Which pig has better feed conversion ratio, bacon bits or loin chop? Since a lower feed conversion ratio is better, the correct answer is B, loin chop, who is more efficient at converting feed to gain than bacon bits. Two more questions. Bacon Bits has an average daily gain of 1.96 pounds per day. A, does that mean every day it eats 1.96 pounds of feed? B, it ate 1.96 pounds of feed on average for every pound of gain? Or C, it grew an average of 1.96 pounds per day? The correct answer is C, it grew 1.96 pounds per day. Second question. 
Moin Chop has a feed conversion ratio of 2.75. Does that mean A, it grew an average of 2.75 pounds per day, B, it ate 2.75 pounds of feed on average for every pound of gain, or C, every day it ate 2.75 pounds of feed? A feed conversion ratio of 2.75 means that it ate 2.75 pounds of feed on average for every pound of gain. So the correct answer is B. A quality weaned pig coupled with correct early pig care at the start and marketing strategy at the end of the growing period play a role in feed conversion and average daily gain. But the five primary factors at the barn or slat level that impact feed conversion and average daily gain are disease prevention, barn environment, floor space, feeder adjustment, and water and feed availability. This graph shows the way cold and heat stress impact average daily gain and feed conversion. The height of the bars represents the total calories consumed. With cold stress, the pig uses a higher percentage of the energy consumed to maintain body temperature, leaving less energy for growth, which results in higher or worse feed conversion and lower average daily gain. With heat stress, the pig uses more energy to regulate body temperature and because of the heat, it eats less which results in less energy being available for growth, resulting in poor average daily gain. Health, like barn environment, can have a big impact on feed conversion and average daily gain. As in the previous graph, the bar height represents the calories consumed. Healthy pigs are able to use most of the energy they consume for growth and have the best or lowest feed conversion and the highest average daily gain. Pigs that are sick eat less because they don't feel well and use more of the energy they consume to fight disease. Although a very sick pig may still eat feed, most if not all of the energy from it goes to fight disease which can result in little to no growth. Feed is a major cost of wean to finish production. This graphic shows how feed intake goes up as the pig grows. A 12 pound weaned pig will eat 10 pounds of feed to reach 20 pounds of body weight. 50 total pounds of feed to get to 50 pounds. 420 total pounds of feed to reach 210 pounds. And will consume a grand total of 700 pounds of feed to reach 300 pounds. In other words, a weaned pig needs to consume 70 times as much feed to get to 300 pounds as it did to reach 20 pounds. Ample water must be available at all times. If water access is limited, feed consumption will be reduced. This is especially important when small pigs, since they drink more water per pound of feed consumed than larger pigs. The cost or loss associated with a pig dying goes up as the pig gets older and heavier for a variety of reasons. The cost of the feed consumed is generally the highest cost, followed by the cost of disposal of the carcass and labor. The most expensive pig to lose is at marketing time, when the pig is ready to sell. The term full value pig is used to describe what percentage of pigs that arrive are sold to the primary market. If 96 pigs are sold for every 100 pigs received, then 96% of the pigs were full value pigs. Pigs that die or are sold to a secondary market as calls or substandards are not considered as full value pigs. There are several factors or conditions that can cause pigs to burn more calories and reduce their average daily gain. Under what conditions do pigs burn more calories, resulting in reduced average daily gain? A. Hot weather B. Cool weather C. High feed competition D disease challenges, or E, all of the above? The correct answer is E. All of these conditions can reduce average daily gain. The barn design establishes the target number of pigs per pen 
based on the floor space per pig, the size of the feeder, and the number of water sources. Adding more pigs per pen impacts the amount of space per pig as well as the access to feed and water for the pigs in the pen. By increasing the stocking density, or more pigs in the same space, the feeder space per pig is reduced, the number of pigs per drinker is increased, and the space per pig is decreased, which can lead to lower average daily gain and higher feed conversion. This barn example is for 1,200 pigs. It has 20 pens that in a perfect world would each have 60 pigs providing 7.5 square feet and two linear inches of feeder space per pig, along with 12 pigs per drinker. Since we don't live in a perfect world, adjustments need to be made to how pigs are allocated upon arrival. In order to provide additional support for some of the pigs received, we need to create some open space at placement. In this example, two pens are left open for rescue pens and one for a hospital pen. The objective of the rescue pens is to fill them within 48 hours with pigs that are not adapting to their new environment, while the hospital pen will fill over a longer time frame. To leave three pens open requires placing 70 or 71 pigs per pen in each of the remaining 17 pens. This results in a 15% reduction in feeder and floor space per pig, and 16% more pigs per drinker than in the design plan. The number of pigs per pen will vary over time because of pigs sorted out to the rescue pens in the first few days, pigs moved to the hospital pen, and due to death loss. Resorting to get an even number of pigs in each pen is generally not desirable due to welfare risks and associated losses when pigs are mixed. Pens with more than the desired number of pigs should be targeted as marketing begins to reduce overcrowding. The cost of producing pork is generally divided into four areas. What we do at the barn or slat level contributes to protecting the money invested and in reducing the cost of production. The cost of a weaned pig is generally 25 to 30 percent of the total cost of production. Excellent early pig care helps promote improvements in average daily gain and feed conversion. The facility cost is often looked at on a per pig space basis. Correct space utilization can improve average daily gain. Feed is the largest cost associated with growing pigs. Maintaining the correct feeder setting through regular adjustments can reduce feed wastage and improve feed conversion, resulting in lower feed costs per pound of gain. The remaining 8 to 12 percent of the cost are from a variety of areas. At the farm level, paying attention to pig health, barn maintenance, and the feed budget are important contributors in this area. The key points to remember are First, average daily gain, fee conversion ratio, and full value pigs are key pig performance indicators. Second, water and feed availability and a correct environment have an important contribution to pig performance. And third, nutrients consumed by pigs should be for growth rather than to fight disease or maintain body temperature. The recommendations presented in this video are general in nature and are not meant to replace established farm protocols. Each farm should have procedures in place that have been approved by their wean to finish manager. Thanks for viewing. For more wean to finish information, visit our website www.pic.com.